Governing Documents All common interest developments have documents that create and govern the development. For condominiums and planned developments, the primary document is the Declaration of Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions, also known as CC&Rs. Once it is recorded with the County Recorder's Office, it turns the project into a common interest development. For condominiums, a companion document known as a condominium plan defines the boundaries of units and common areas. For planned developments, it's the tract map. CC&Rs give the development a name and form a homeowners association to manage the common areas. Once buyers become homeowners, they automatically become members of the association. CC&Rs contain restrictions that members must follow, such as limiting the number of pets, restricting rentals, limiting vehicles, and prohibiting improvements without association approval. They also assign maintenance responsibilities, obligate members to pay assessments, and give enforcement authority to the association. To establish the policies and procedures for governing the association, Articles of Incorporation are filed by the Secretary of State forming a corporation. This is followed by a set of bylaws that give voting rights to members, describe the election of a board of directors and the appointment of officers, and how meetings are held. Next are rules and regulations, which are adopted by boards to promote peaceful relations between residents. They address day-to-day -day issues such as pets, parking, nuisance noise, and the use of recreational facilities. Other rules include architectural standards, election rules, assessment collection policies, and enforcement policies. Together, CC&Rs, bylaws, and rules preserve property values and facilitate the smooth operations of an association so members can peacefully enjoy their properties.